So the topic of this video is can women trade forex and the answer obviously is yes they can and what is more ironic is that women according to a lot of people who study um, what it takes to be successful in trading they usually say that women have the highest um, ch chances of success they're not ne not they're not necessarily the ones with the highest success rates but then they have the innate skills and capabilities that can push them further than the average man because of emotional intelligence that is intuitive. So with trading, intuition is very, 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 very important. And being intuitive means to be able to have a gut feeling or to have a mind that is not only logical, uh, not only left brain not um, needing something specific, being able to be patient, being able to, to wait, being able to um, find the chance to get into a trade without an ego. So the problem with men is that they, they usually have an ego that affects their, their trading negatively. And in most cases, this is not the same with women because because of just the nature of women so through this they are obviously capable of trading but beyond this they have a greater capacity to be better at trading than men right now the person who runs the soros fund is a woman there are more women trading so this is just um, a preview of what the statistics show when it comes to trading and women. So just stay tuned. All this from Daily Forex, and you can check this out on their website or you can just Google it. But it says that according to research, women only represent 12.4% of all traders. So that's a very, very small number. While men are 80%. 86.7% of all traders. So 12 and 86 point, uh, 86.84.6, 86.7 and 12.4. So these numbers are very, um, uh, they're not matching because m men are usually the ones who are trading. So women can trade, but it's just that very few women are trading. And it doesn't mean that if you're a woman, you can't trade. It just means that if you want to trade, you mean you're going to be in the minority. But through through being in the minority, it does not mean that you're not going to make the majority of the money. So what women can contribute is actually more than what men can contribute in terms of their emotional discipline. Because they are usually supposed to multitask. Um, naturally, a woman is going to have um, so many roles within a household as a wife, as a mother, as this and as that. A man is just going to be the provider. And usually men want to make money, so they get into Forex. With this uh, idea or ambition or this ego of wanting to make money. But women will get into it with obviously the idea of wanting to make money. But the ego is not the same as men because because of just the 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 mindset and the chemicals that are used in the mind during trading so we're going to go over the psychology of trading in greater detail but basically testosterone and estrogen is in both male and female but it's in higher concentration in women and the testosterone in men gives them more aggression. So you'd see that men tend to be more aggressive traders while women may tend to be more conservative traders. They may tend to be, men may tend to be more risky and women may tend to be more risk averse, which is better in the long term. So when it comes to trading, definitely anyone can trade, women especially. And I would actually encourage more women to trade if that's an uh, if if that's a possibility but it does take a lot of time and effort and energy which a lot of women do not have because as I said they have a lot of roles. So um yeah, 
So I salute women and uh, I think they're underrepresented. I think in the current financial industry, about one or less percentage of them are within this industry, but they have um, a spot. And if they were to set, if these numbers were reversed, if there were 86% of women trading, there would be more successful traders.